Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello everyone. Today we have somewhat nice day and somewhat rainy day. Hopefully those clouds stay away. But today we are going to uh, Mangatainoka to the Toy Brewery we were last time. Today is a two-wheel day, motorcycle day. So uh, we are heading there to have a look. There is a couple boys over there waiting for me. <laughs> and a couple more coming. And uh, we also gonna get out flyers for um, next week. It's uh, a protest ride to the city because New Zealand government trying to uh, raise our registrations for motorcycles to over thousand dollars for a year. So uh, yeah, that's not uh, that's not great. At the moment we are paying about six hundred, and they wanna go to eight hundred, and then uh, over thousand, and they just keep taxing bikes. And in comparison, car. If you are a car driver, you pay about $150 or something along those lines. So uh, we are pretty heavily taxed and they want to really double it up. So uh, it doesn't really count with my bike. These old machines, they are about 60 bucks. So 70 bucks, that's okay. But any other big bike, we are screwed. So um, yeah, we're going to hang out some flyers and um, maybe talk to some people. All right, let's ride. Hi guys, yeah, hello, <laughs> here is my voiceover Mario, um, so I got my numbers all bit wrong, uh, we are going up to $877 per year uh, to for a motorcycle and lots of guys I know they own multiple motorcycles and uh, also on the ride I met a guy who had 10 big bikes and he said he registers them all, so can you imagine you have 10 motorcycles and you register them for the whole year you're paying almost you will be paying almost nine thousand dollars so um you can ride them uh ever i came to new zealand uh, i was always thinking that um, you are only one rider who cares about a motor uh, with how many vehicles you got why don't we pay registration per license, you know? Uh, because I can only ride one vehicle at the same time. If we're talking about the ACC, ACC which is the accident compensation, whatever something, see? Uh, I am only one guy who can be injured. So if I gonna pay money for to cover my costs, if I get injured, I am paying for one person, for myself. I don't know why do I pay for 10 different vehicles or how many you may have or may not. It doesn't really make sense if they're gonna pedal it that are, oh, we're doing it because we want to, you know, if you get hurt on a motorcycle, you know, your costs in a hospital are gonna be way higher than as of person in a car. Well, that's fair enough, but um, that's true, but why do I have to pay the same money for every single vehicle I got? But anyhow, so that's the dilemma, isn't it? Um, what's right and what isn't right? Uh, the government we have at the moment, they are waging a war on the gangs. So there is uh, lots of things and laws coming into play. And um, this might be just part of that also. They are introducing another law which uh, is riding in convoy. 
which is supposed to be related to gangs and gang insignias, but um, as it seems from what I have heard so far, it um, it looks like they target every motorcycles. I mean they, I mean the police. Uh, every single guy or a lady who is on whatever motorcycle, whether you are on a Harley or an adventure bike, we are not evil, we are not gangs, and uh, we just regular people who ride and love motorcycles, and uh, there is no reason to be targeted and being punished in this way. So, um, yeah, I'll put the links below for you to have a look at, so have a read for yourself. This ride on the Sunday, which is gonna be in two days, uh, I will post this video on Friday. You are watching it. Yay! Thank you! Um, in two days, on the Sunday, 3rd of November, there is multiple rides all over New Zealand in the big cities, and we're calling all motorcyclists to go and uh, support it. Hey, I am not um, naive. I don't think that the uh, protests particularly work. I've been on few in New Zealand and I've been few in Europe and uh, hell, government wants to do what they want to do, they'll do it whether we protest or not. But um, hey, uh, we love motorcycles and we wanna be keep riding them. So uh, what is there to lose? We get out, we, uh, we ride to the city. And what happens, happens. The guys who are organizing this, uh, who are in charge of this, maybe they have some pool, maybe they can change something. I don't know. Um, the theory is that uh, there is a 130,000 uh, bike riders with uh, licenses for large motorcycles, meaning over 1,000 cc's. And if all of us can postpone registrations, or register it month at a time or three months at a time, hey, the government's going to see a massive decrease in um, in the money intake. So, um, you know, if there is, you know, if there is anything, the money's gonna make it. If we don't pay them the money and we have a little break from riding or pay them, you know, on a monthly basis and then put our registrations on hold, they're gonna lose out, well, Imagine we are paying $522 a year and you have uh, just 100,000 people don't pay their registration. They already lost $50 million, isn't it? Um, so did I count it right? <laughs> you can correct me in the comments. But um, well, this is what's happening in New Zealand right now and we decided to do something about it. So um, yeah. As far as we know, the government already made their decision and it's gonna go ahead with it, but um, I don't know. Um, I, uh, the guys who are organizing it, supposedly they've been in touch with the minister who's in charge of this and uh, supposedly the Mr. minister has replied to them. Um, I don't know what he replied, um, but I have never seen government getting in touch with the protesters, so... Uh, Maybe that's a um, little light for a hope yet? I don't know. I don't really trust them. Uh, many people don't trust them. We're just really tired of paying big money for riding a motorcycle. But uh, let me know in a comment if you, um, if you like the idea of uh, paying registration per rider, not per your vehicle. Uh, that sounds to me the most sensible thing um, to go ahead. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, this Sunday we really go into the town to uh, show the world. I don't know, I know that uh, it's Sunday and nobody from the government will be in town, which is good. It should keep things calmer. We just want to show that uh, there is a lot of us and we matter and we are not bad people. We just love motorcycles and we love riding. And uh, we don't need to be extorted for that. Uh, so we're trying to just show that we exist and uh, we're good, really. So this ride, it is a protest ride, but we don't really want any mean stuff, no violence, no crazy behaviors. 
we're just gonna go for a peaceful chill out ride to the town and uh, yeah we're not asking for any trouble we just want fairness and uh, being heard so uh, keep your tires on don't do burnouts <laughs> and just take it easy and um, don't be silly don't do things we don't want to get arrested we don't want to trouble with the police they'll probably be there everywhere try to uh, manage the traffic and doing the usual thing so i could do without provoking and uh i don't know and batons and arrests you know let's just go there show that we are there and then we go home and uh hopefully this will lead to uh some progress and uh the rage of freeze and keeping it where it is we pay already enough or uh, can we change the system to a single rider payment rather than single vehicle payment who knows um we shall see Ready? Here we are. Not that messy turnout. It used to be uh, twice as big, but uh, it's not the biggest summer yet. Well, it's warmish, but it's, we are still just in the spring. But there's a few bikes. We'll have a little look later, and then uh, we'll hang out some flyers and uh, we'll be. It's nice to get out. Alrighty. But it's early, the bikes are still coming. Uh, let's have a look. I got some flyers. So I'm just gonna hand them out and um, yeah. Uh, hopefully, we can get some people next week. Alright, let's do it. You guys know about uh, the ride next Sunday? Yeah, yeah. Ready. My flyers are gone already. That didn't take very long. Uh, so yeah, next Sunday, 3rd of November. Uh, well, I tried to post this video soon enough so you guys can go online and look it up. And uh, we'll just go all riding in the morning, Sunday, 3rd of November. So uh, let's see if we can be heard for once. All right, let's have a look at some bikes. There are some beautiful machines in here. I might as well go to the front and start from the, from the start of it. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. Seems like there was a Moto Guzzi show. <laughs> there was about 30 of them. There must have been a Guzzi club or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a look at these other machines. <laughs> I'm the same. So that's it, 
suppliers are out. Everybody knows about next weekend. Um, and um, yeah. There was quite a few bikes in here. It was pretty cool. And um, yeah. Next Sunday, guys, it's the 3rd of November. Um, if you have time, come to your major large city, look at the Facebook MAGNZ. Uh, information will be there about the right um, protest right for the increase of registration. So, uh, yeah, because the laws, when they're coming in, they try to punish um, gangs, but they uh, are even prohibiting people riding in convoy, two up, so you can't even go for a spin on your motorbike with a friend. You can be charged five hundred dollars. So what the laws what they are coming are really against motorcyclists. <laughs> so so it's pretty screwed up, you know. So they're raising your registration. You can't ride with people. You have to be on your own, and it's all a bunch of bullshit. So uh, well, I don't know if it's gonna work. The government never listened to anyone. They do whatever they want. So. Um, Maybe they'll listen now, who knows? But what else is there to do? You know, we gotta try. So, uh, so that's it. I'm gonna cruise home and uh, I'll uh, see you back there. Flyers are distributed, everything uh, has been given out, we have talked to a few people, lots of people knew about it, but really guys, um, go online, research it, go on the government websites and see what laws are being introduced and uh, how it may or may not impact you, yourself. I know lots of people been uh, thinking about it, there is nothing you can do and you just kind of bend over and deal with it, but I don't know, if there is always a chance, even if it's a slim one, we're gonna chance it, you know, you don't ask, you don't get, and I like everything to be perfect, I am maybe a perfectionist in that way, I like everything organized, I like everything sorted, I like everything legal, but um, I also don't want to pay crazy amounts of money for my love of motorcycles when I take every precaution to be safe and uh, ride well and um, that's maybe just me but I you know I don't really feel like I need to be prosecuted for for just riding you know um, there is cars going you know, there are multiple people riding cars together. Are they illegal? You know, gangs also ride in cars. Are they illegal? No. So why why is it such a massive push for the motorcycles? I I don't know. Um, so, so yeah, just do uh, do your own research. Uh, go online, read a whole bunch of stuff. You know, all I can tell you is just my view and my opinion and I'm not the smartest person in the world and I don't know everything. And uh, So do your own research, as I say, uh, be your own judge and uh, uh, if you can come for a ride on Sunday, just take it as a nice little social Sunday outing. You know, we'll have a cup of tea, we'll listen to some speakers. Uh, we see what we can do or we cannot do and um, well, hopefully we'll be okay. So um, I'll see you on Sunday. And we are home. That was a nice ride. Um, I don't know if I 
pointed this out. Before I went away, I found out that the uh, CC bar is broken again. So uh, I just put a tape on. This is my ugly TIG weld from last break. Uh, and it just bent right about there. Uh, but it lasted. How on earth did it last? Never mind. I'll, um, I'll uh, weld it later on. Uh, next week I'll be taking my red bike. Uh, I think she's ready for an adventure. Um, so we'll do that. And um, yeah, so this way, uh, this place where we went to is the Mangatai no Ka. It's exactly where we were uh, uh, last week when I was doing a um, the Hot Rod show. So yeah, every month they do uh, something different. So um, yeah, that was a nice little trip. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll uh, see you next week on the ride in the city. Hopefully everything goes smooth and uh, nobody will be stupid. And um, yeah, thank you again for watching. Uh, push the button, say hello, and uh, I'll see you next week. All right, upwards and onwards, as they say. See ya.